hello friends I'm back again with another tutorial you can see here it's invalid partition table you can see I was trying to boot my PC and when I tried to boot you can see I got the error message invalid partition table I'm not being able to boot so certain steps that you need to follow in order to fix this issue so at first shut down and restart your PC and then you have to enter into the BIOS setting if you do not know how to enter into the BIOS setting the link down below in the video description you can follow now here you have to change the boot order you can see the first boot device is hard disk you want to boot from the removable USB pen drive or a DVD so if it is a pen drive you choose pen drive or if it is a DVD you have to choose DVD so mine is removable drive it's a pen drive so first boot device is the removable drive second boot device I'll choose the hard disk now press F10 key to save and exit press Y for yes and press enter key this should fix the issue still the issue exists you can see invalid partition table that means issue still exists so proceed to the next method so in the next method to fix invalid partition table you have to enter the BIOS again so if you do not know how to enter the BIOS follow the link in the video description so the BIOS menu you are gonna see the boot sequence in the boot sequence it is UEFI Currently, it is a UEFI, and if you are getting an error, you can see if this uh, option is not grayed out, you can select legacy. Select legacy and then check it out. After selecting legacy, you just have to apply and then you have to exit it after applying. Check if problem is solved. If it is grayed out, it is not allowing you to select at first look for secu uh, secure boot you can see here is the option for the secure boot so somewhere in a bias setting you have to look for the secure boot you just have to disable the secure boot click on yes to disable the secure boot go back to the advanced boot option is the boot sequence still it is a grayed out go to the advanced boot option you just have to check this legacy click on ok it is yet not allowing you to select the legacy legacy option ROM cannot be enabled with a PPT enabled so you have to disable the PPT also so in order to disable the PTT you have to go to the security here is a drop down icon click on that and here is PTT security DJ it is turned on so disable the PTT security now you can see boot sequence it's still grayed out is the advanced boot option enable the legacy now now you can see in legacy is ticked one go to the boot sequence along with the legacy option uh, in the advanced boot option you enable this one also enable attempt to legacy boot and then click on apply click on ok are you want are you sure you want to apply the changes click on ok now go to the boot sequence you can see now the legacy external device is not grayed out now you can select this again do not forget to apply so every changes you make after making every changes you just have to apply it let's say and then you come back and check if your problem is solved with the invalid partition let's say you were getting the invalid partition when there was a legacy if there was a legacy and you are getting the invalid partition you have to change it to UEFI and you have to apply the changes again make everything as it was so again go to the advanced boot option untick all this so make it as it was like in the previous so secure boot enable it back again so 
So in the advanced mode option, you uncheck both and apply it. Next changes, we made to the PPT in a security. So turn back PPT on and apply it. Next changes, we made to the secure boot. Enable the secure boot once again and apply it. Again, you are back to the UEFI. Now go and check if your invalid partition table problem is fixed. So what I told you guys in this tutorial, if there was legacy in the first and you are having an invalid partition, you change it to UEFI and check it out if the problem is solved. If there was UEFI and you are getting the invalid partition table, change it back to legacy and check if problem is solved with the invalid partition. So I hope you guys understood uh, with this uh, legacy and UEFI. So alternate. If legacy, change it to UEFI and check it out if problem solved. If UEFI, change it back to legacy and check if problem is solved. So try this and see if problem is solved. Otherwise proceed to the next method. In this method, you can see this is a USB drive. Uh, one that was bootable and I was getting an error like in body invalid partition table. So you just have to recreate this drive. You can maybe the MRB you have created is corrupted or flash drive you have bootable flash drive you have uh, created uh, some files are corrupted and it is uh, not created properly. So follow the link in the video, uh, video description how to create a USB flash drive bootable flash drive and recreate this USB flash drive. So three easy way guided in the tutorial link down below in the video description. You have to recreate this USB bootable flash drive and check it out if you are still getting the invalid partition table. So before going through the recreation of a bootable flash drive, uh, before you recreate it, uh, you follow one more step. I'm going to guide you in this tutorial. So check it out. So in this step, you have to update a BIOS. It happens sometimes because your BIOS is outdated. So you can download the BIOS. Let's say your laptop you're using is a Dell, HP or some other brand. You can download, you know, the model number of your laptop. Even if you're using a desktop, not a problem. You can download the BIOS for uh, Dell and all. So whether whatever PC you are using, you can download the latest version of a BIOS. So you can visit the web and you can download the BIOS. So always visit the official web to download the BIOS. When you go to download the BIOS from the official web, it may ask you for the service tag. Service tag you'll find at the back end of your system. Or maybe you find in the receipt you purchase your PC. So enter the service tag to find the proper BIOS for your system. Randomly, you may install the BIOS of a, um, of a different uh, uh, brand or a model and that might not work. So always download the proper BIOS for your system. So enter the service tag over here and then click on search. It detects your product and then now click on submit. Once it detects your product, you can see it's a driver and download. You can see the urgent. You can see it was released on. It's a BIOS. 10 February 2020. So download it. You can see it is downloading. Now before you install it, make sure your PC is well charged and your power cable is plugged in. So always plug in the power cable and make sure your PC is charged at least 20 to 30%. Do not unplug the power cable. Okay guys, just give a right click on it and run as an administrator on the top. Otherwise, just uh, give a double click on it. It can ask you for the permission. Click on yes. And you're going to see this. You just have to click on update. So one more time, I would like to tell you, make sure your PC is 20 to, uh, sorry guys, 20 to 30% charged and make sure your power cable is plugged in. And while updating, do not unplug the power cable and do not turn off the PC. Otherwise, your PC might uh, crash or something might go wrong. So, just before updating it, do not unplug the power cable. Make sure power cable is plugged in, 20 to 30% charged. 
and never turn off the PC. So while updating, your PC may go black for a while and it may restart. So click on update now. So it will ask you for the restart. So you just have to restart your PC. You can see it is asking to restart. So just click on restart. You can see it is restarting. Looks like some app is running. So click on restart and so you can see system is all black and it is updating the firmware. So it might take some time as 6% completed. Okay guys, finally it's done and it is restarting. And here we go. So this is the way how you update your BIOS. You can re-insert your pen drive, bootable pen drive and check it out your if uh, invalid partition table is fixed. It's still after doing all this, uh, following all these steps, your invalid partition table is not fixed. Either if your DVD is uh, corrupted, you have to throw that and you have to get another DVD. If it is a pen drive, you just format it and create another bootable pen drive. Follow the link in the video description to recreate a bootable pen drive. So three different method, you can create it in one the either way and use your pen drive to reboot your, uh, use your bootable pen drive to reboot your PC, reinstall the Windows 10 in your PC. So guys, I hope this tutorial helped. If helped, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.